Well, hey guys, I am excited today. Um, I will tell you why. So there's a lot of people saying, you know, the Tubi Shabbat thing is over now, fifth and sixth, but Jesus did show up on the sixth, guys, with all the terrible earthquakes, um, high magnitudes, which I listed in a previous video. But somebody sent me a video today, guys, and this is the second video confirming things and I am just so excited. I feel like this could be the year of February 15, 2023. Now he never gave me a year for all the naysayers out there saying that, well, you predicted dates. Well, I don't predict anything guys. It's what I hear and I'm obedient and I give it to you guys. So um, I just looked at Steve Fletcher's video. Somebody sent it to me and he, I think he did it like 12 hours ago. Um, it's at Steve Fletcher 2223 on YouTube, and I'll put that in the description. But um, on the Hebrew calendar, it's February 14th through 16th, 2023, which means the 24th day of Shabbat. Now, if you look at, um, what was it, Zechariah 1, 7 through 8, it says, on the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month of Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, the prophet. I saw by night and behold a man riding on a red horse. And it stood among the myrtle trees in the hollow and behind him were horses, red sorrel and white. And I'm not sure what all that means because I'm not a biblical scholar. But I will tell you, so... Remember in the previous video, he said, look at the comet, it's green. And I didn't understand that because the comet passed us by, you know what I mean? But like I said, I'm obedient. I just say what I hear. And he tells me that the comet EZ3TF is going to pass on, on that day, February 14th through the 16th. Um, and it has, it said, Eye of Taurus which is, um, so it's, it has a red star and the Mars is red. I don't know anything about astrology. So someone else said that I wasn't hearing from the Lord because I'm mentioning signs in the heaven. People just say the craziest thing, but I love you and I'll pray for you anyway. Um, and it's going to pass the, uh, green comet. So there's two red signs in the heavens between Mars and the eye of the Taurus, and it's also the 74th anniversary of Israel's first government in 1949. So Israel's first government was formed February 14th, 1949, and February 14, 2023, it will fulfill 70 years plus four years of the fig tree. He said, now I don't know anything about that. I'm just repeating what Steve Fletcher says. And then the fact that it was in the Bible was pretty cool. Um, so if you add, he said, add 1949 plus 70 years, which equals to be Shavat, which there's also the blood moon of January 21st to 19. And then if you add four years, um, it brings it to February 14th, 2023 and it all has to do with the fig tree and remember he said the fig tree guys this lines up with everything he showed me the other day and um whether i believe it's this year i i i truly do i don't believe he would just give me a date for no reason but i didn't mention a time or day because he gave me two things he gave me to be shabbat and he gave me february 15th and um I'm just being obedient, guys. Okay, so love thy neighbor. But this is really cool. So, guys, I'm going to put it in the description and and go check it out because I think we're going to see our Lord Jesus soon. I really believe that he's going to get his elect and his children. Um, and I just hope it's February 15th of 2023. I don't know how to do the to, to be Shabbat, you know, for the following year because he didn't give me the year. So, all the naysayers. My prophecies that he's given me have all come true so far. So I will not apologize or take down my channel and say I'm false because I'm not. Now I Googled it and I said Google, which we all know Google's evil, but it said fifth and sixth. So I don't know anything about the Hebrew calendar, guys. So I made that mistake and I shouldn't assume that I knew what Tubi Shabbat was and relied on Google because I don't know anything about that. So I apologize. That was my rookie mistake. You know, I'm, I've been saved for 12 years, but 
I'm not a biblical scholar. So a lot of these messages just totally go over my head. So the someone who said that I could formulate scriptures, I laughed at that because I can't even formulate a sentence with some scriptures. And yes, I will call myself out, you know, because I'm humble and um, I have childlike faith. And what's amazing is today I was, um, I woke up early. Okay. I always listen to the Bible before I go to bed, but I woke up early. Um, it was like six o'clock and I was like, God, oh, I'm not ready to get up yet. So I went back to sleep and I put the Bible on again. Well, I woke up again, and right when I woke up, it was literally, I felt like the Lord woke me up, and it was right on Hebrews 11, and it talked about childlike faith. It talked about Abraham's faith, Noah's faith, and it was just like a personal message to me about how it just takes faith to do all of this, because, you know, I'm human, guys. I'm going to question if I get, if I misconstrue something and instead of, you know, hating on me and calling me a false prophet, how about you love me and, you know, help me and not hate, guys? The Lord does not like that. He likes humble, not proud, okay? He doesn't like jealousy. He doesn't like any of those things. Those are breeding things of the devil. Um, so I'm going to stay happy because he gave me these days for a reason, guys, and I pray for all the people that lost their lives. It's it's super sad. And, you know, I mean, I feel bad being excited that Jesus is coming sometimes because I know a lot of people don't know him and they are believing the government and their lies. And unfortunately, it's just going to, you know, if, if they don't wake up soon, you know, I don't, I don't know how many chances they're gonna get. And I just pray that, you know, these videos get out to everybody and and wake people up so if you're a christian out there guys don't ever call it other christians and start posting you know and and just be mean no 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 that can't be it i mean come on guys you know that's just i will pray for you okay there's no hard feelings if you come and say you know i'm sorry i will forgive you i don't have any i don't hold any hard feelings on you guys but Look up this video, because this is exciting stuff, guys. God made an appearance way, way on um, on the 6th. And guys, I don't think he's done. The messages I got yesterday, lots more of destructions coming. So if you do not know Jesus, guys, it's so easy. It's a free gift. You believe in him with all your heart. You confess your sins. You ask him to come into your life and save you. Ask him to pour a spirit out on you so you can walk in the spirit and not be led by the flesh. Okay, guys, have a blessed day.